Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is monthly July 2019 astrology and tarot love reading for female and for male Sagittarians all over the world. So guys, this month of July will shake us <laughs> to the core, <laughs> all of us, you know, and I will explain you why. Uh, by my own opinion, month of July is the most important and the most profound, the biggest month in 2019. Why? Well, let me explain why. Guys, before I say anything at all, let me teach you how you should listen astrology. First, listen video for your rising sign, then for your sun sign, and then for your moon sign. This is the only way how you will get well-rounded uh, story for upcoming month. For my Sagittarians, let's get started. Okay, so why this month is so profound for every single one of us? <laughs> now, guys, listen. We have new moon in um, Cancer. We have another new moon in Leo. Imagine that. We have total solar eclipse in the sign of Cancer. And we have partial lunar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. So, guys, what the heck is this? So many powerful, extremely important celestial events. But, guys, what it means for you? So, you can follow what I'm saying on this chart, astrological chart. So, guys, let's get started. Okay. So, first things come first. Now, in your first house, guys, you have uh, Jupiter. No, let me change the color. This is not the color which I chosen. Okay, 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 okay. Let me put the blue one. Okay, so now it's more visible. Jupiter in the first house. First of all, guys, uh, Jupiter is your ruler. Jupiter as a planet rules your, uh, your sign. So what it means, generally speaking, to have Jupiter in the first house it means that Jupiter wants to teach you that you should believe in you and maybe even, uh, you know, uh, to, to learn some new lessons. Some of those lessons will be very nice. Some of those lessons ain't going to be very nice. But basically, what is, the, what is the main lesson which you need to learn? To believe in you. Jupiter now is in a retrograde uh, motion. And what that means? Uh, it means that maybe now you're a little bit, you know, confused how you see yourself, what basically you want, uh, where you are going, you know. So while Jupiter is in a retrograde motion, guys, I do advise you, stay still. Don't do something at any cost just because, you know, you think it's reachable. Maybe your plan is not the wisest plan. So uh, whatever have you now on your mind uh, will happen. But guys, allow yourself through the whole month of July to stay still, uh, maybe to examine, plan, especially uh, if you want to uh, relocate yourself, if you want to start with a job. So, you know, make a plan. While Jupiter is in a retrograde motion, simply Jupiter is saying, don't rush. Examine where you see yourself, examine again. Uh, you know, talk with family, talk with your friends, you know, and then act. Not only that Jupiter is in a retrograde motion, but guys, in your second house, you have Saturn, Pluto, South, Node, and Pluto and Saturn are also in a retrograde motion. So what that means? First of all, you need uh, to see yourself in completely different type of a light. So guys, Jupiter is about knowledge, uh, it's about your belief system, it's about uh, learning as much as you can. Obviously, uh, you see yourself somewhere else. Maybe doing a completely different type of a job. Maybe you want to be in a different type of a relationship. Could be anything, guys. It depends on your private life. So Jupiter is like busting, you know, energy inside of you. But while Jupiter is in a retrograde motion, he's saying, you know, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I will help you. 
uh, to achieve much more but in the month of July you know lower your profile down and allow yourself you know uh, uh, um, uh, to rest and to reconsider where you are going and guys you are going places you are going places so Saturn I mean generally speaking to have South Node Saturn Pluto in the second house guys this is big this is really really big Saturn want to teach you first of all how you see yourself how you value yourself so many of you are not happy with your current job so many of you are not happy with amount of money that you can uh, earn and of course you know Saturn will produce this urge inside of you you want more money you want more security but basically you will get that but first you need to figure it out you know how much you value yourself because this is this is connected so how you can secure yourself of course guys by the end of this year in the December Jupiter will enter into a second house and then you will feel a relief so guys uh, we have many um, planets in a retrograde phase so don't rush okay don't rush I can see inside of you this uh, profound energy everything is possible I can do that I can be whoever I want of course honey you can I'm not saying you can't but still make a plan okay so you need to rethink where you are going and I told you you are going places in eighth house you have Mars and Sun in conjunction Sun is in conjunction with uh, North Node of the Moon or Rahu this is extremely good obviously for partnership uh, Sun in eighth house is saying help your partner uh, and so many of you are now experienced maybe the most powerful maybe the most important love relationship of your life guys it's very serious to have north node of the moon rahu in your eighth house and guys rahu is little by little slowly is going into a seventh house so i think this is like preparation for future marriage maybe not tomorrow morning next week or maybe even not next month for some of you could be i'm not saying uh i mean could be but for vast majority of you this could be meeting maybe uh, which is preparing cosmos is preparing uh meeting like uh, like fated you know meeting meeting with your twin flame so guys sun also in your eight house is saying help your current partner maybe you are married maybe you are in a long-term relationship right so help your partner your partner needs you mars in uh, eight house on 29th degree is saying how busy you are uh, it's saying uh, that you are willing to take a risk or two when it comes to your uh, job and family some of you are helping your family or your partner this very second with money with the support with advice with anything at all so Mars in eight house is saying okay I need to get rid of some uh, problems or whatever might be in your private life depends from such to such and then I know exactly where I'm going and guys you will travel a lot probably because of education for some of you because of love and for some of you because of business you have on your mind almost perfect business uh, idea and guys just proceed so you are willing to take a risk or two uh, and guys you know just you know consider and reconsider how much risk you are willing to take and how much money you are willing to invest in this business for some for some of you so many of you guys will be in love so many of you will fall in love there is a person who will say that to you I know I feel I'm connected with you on such a deep 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 level you must be uh, my spouse from my previous uh, life and then a little bit later basically in the first week of July Mars will shift to your ninth house uh, in ninth house guys you have Mercury and Mercury will start with normal annual retrograde uh, motion on July 7th so what that means guys for you 
Mercury in nine, uh, nine house, generally speaking, is saying back to school. So could be learning new language, could be visiting old friend from your early childhood. For some of you, could be meeting uh, with very important person online. This guys could happen very easily, especially from the middle of uh, July and on July uh, and August, a very profound couple of months for for love. So guys, not only that you have Sun and Rahu and Mars in your air house, uh, also there is a solar eclipse, total solar eclipse in your ninth house. So guys, this is big. Sun, Mars, New Moon, Rahu, everything in your eighth house. Obviously, this is all about partner, uh, money, how much money your partner can earn. Obviously, money of your partner is increasing and you know you want to see, uh, maybe even you will put on a test your partner to see is your partner supportive and you know, is your partner going to take care of you if you need any kind of, uh, you know, to be taken care of. So money obviously looks good. Uh, this also could be some new project, could be organizing any kind of project. I can see a lot of people all around, all around you. So total solar eclipse in your eighth house is saying, don't wait, help your partner and above all, open yourself to your partner because guys, this is a very profound, uh, you know, month uh, and kind of, you know, cosmos want to see how deeply you are in love. And you know how deeply your partner is in love with you. So you need to help one another. Kisses, kisses, kisses. This is not enough. This is real life. This is real month. And cosmos is like testing you, not only guys with your partner, but also Mars and Sun and New Moon is saying, you know, are you are you honest uh, to people? Like generally, generally speaking. So cosmos will put you on the test. Also. Uh, Mars in your 8th house, he will give you like new understanding of some situation, you know. So some of you do not want to commit, guys. And this is maybe not uh, what you should do. I think that you should commit. And not because I said so, guys, you know. But also at the very in the first week of the month of July, guys, you have Venus in your 7th house. So Venus in the 7th house basically is saying uh, commitment 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 so somebody want you deep 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 deeply of course for so many of you guys this is your current partner uh, who is uh, preparing maybe to propose you and if you are trying to get away guys i think now this is not uh, possible uh, because you know your love partner will start talking and very often you know uh, so, you know, what are our plans? Because, you know, little by little, so many planets are moving to a ninth house of planning your future. Guys, you can't, this time, you can't avoid, uh, you know, to put a ring on your finger or to put a ring on your girlfriend if you are a man watching this video. So, whether you are a man or woman, guys, you know, um, obviously, you are in love or you will fall in love with such a beautiful charismatic person but very gentle so this person is very talkative this person is very nice this person is very intelligent and guys if you allow yourself to lose this person guys you will regret it until the end of your life or vice versa if this person allow himself or herself to lose you this person will will have regrets until the end of of the time of life or you know whatever so guys um mercury will be in a retrograde motion until 31st of july and on the same day there is another second new moon in your ninth house so guys new moon in the sign of leo obviously uh, talks about love 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 mercury in a leo words of love mars in leo this is like a uh, love action everything you know doing for love so guys this is like now or never the most profound month for your job for taking care of your family for putting a ring wearing a ring on your finger or maybe buying a ring if you are men watching this video so this month is going to be extremely profound okay 
So guys, settle down if you are not settled just yet, because you know, if you allow yourself to lose this partner or vice versa, either you or this person will have regrets until the end of time. So this is guys, um, our, uh, this is our uh, July, uh -huh, I forgot to say, um, a full moon in your second house on July 16th, guys, what it means in a second house, it means that uh, every, everything in July is uh, 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 revolve uh, of your partner, everything, guys, you know, is pointing uh, here, everything, guys, is pointing here, partner, 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 taking care of your partner, for some of you, this could be a family member, but most likely this is your partner, taking care of your projects, business, uh, you know, and simply loving and showing very openly, this is important, showing openly how much you care for one another. And guys, this is month of July, uh, when it comes to astrology. Okay, now love terror reading. Sages, 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 this month is so big, this month can change your whole life, believe me. So everything is possible. Now guys, uh, let me talk only about tarot and love tarot reading. Before I proceed, help me to grow my channel, support me and if you want to donate some money, you can do that on ivanatero at hotmail, <coughs> hotmail.com. Thank you. So there you go. Spread your wings and fly away. But don't fly away well, like, you know, being single. But fly away with your partner. Guys, uh, this tarot card spread your wings. Basically saying everything is possible in the month of July. Win or lose. So this is, guys, what I talked about. Very important conversation with your current partner. For some of you, completely new love partner. By the way, this is Ace of Swords. So this is like profound communication about what you want, how happy you are with your current love, uh, love life or maybe marriage or your committed relationship and where you are heading. Uh, guys, you will end month of July by knowing who you are, where you are going and the way how you're setting very important foundation for your future life. Coming together, I told ya, didn't I, guys? So you can see this man, how he is holding this woman. If you're a woman, this is your man who is holding you. And obviously, uh, you know, whispering into your ear how deep your partner loves you. Guys, you generally speaking, to have Venus in a seventh house, this is probably... Uh, the most beautiful, beautiful, you know, thing, because next to this person, you will feel so relaxed, so relaxed, you know, maybe uh, for the very first time, you will say, yes, I want to stay, and I want to commit myself, or your partner uh, just might set, set that. Uh, I forgot to say, this could be Cancer, Gemini, Libra, could be Taurus, could be, could be Leo, uh, could be, um, could be, could be, could be Scorpio, uh, could be also an Aries, okay? So somebody is like crazy over you already. So guys, admit, I told you, didn't I? The most important, the most profound month to be connected or to stay connected with your current love partner. So guys, you can see, and I told you, this is someone who, who, who is in your life uh, and this person is connected probably with your previous life. So uh, if you're single, your lover is here. And I just mentioned uh, Aries, Leo, Taurus, Libra and for some of you could be Scorpio. Uh, very successful person, very powerful person. And guys, when I say powerful, could be in any kind of sense, you know. Uh, not only like very muscled, you know, guy, like a big, with big muscles, but somebody who is like very, uh, very successful, you know, uh, career-wise. So this person is very active. Uh, this person is very, 
is very attractive and obviously this person is very uh, into, into you. The moon. This is a doubt, guys, of some kind, you know. Uh, maybe you don't trust in the future. Maybe you don't trust in this partner. But maybe this partner do not trust in you. Guys, listen to me. Everybody knows typical Sagittarius zodiac sign, especially male. You do not want to be chained. You need your freedom. But guys, if your partner feels that your partner will run away, okay? So just just allow yourself uh you know uh to make you know to make um how how should i put it on english allow your partner uh to trust you okay or maybe what i just said goes for your partner maybe your partner do not want to commit maybe this is the doubt which basically is haunting you so guys there you go the very next month month of july you can expect completely new love relationship uh, so uh, leave your past in the past for some of you still need to leave your past in the past and give yourself completely to this person okay there is a danger and let me explain the danger which i can see guys listen to me and closely it's time for you to settle down no doubt about that but this person is not stupid this person can read between the lines and a couple of times you know you will mention your previous boyfriend or girlfriend and this person is like listen very listening very very closely and one day this person just might mention okay i really do not want to listen anymore about your ex since you're still emotionally connected i am gone guys i told you if you allow yourself to lose this partner this partner you have regrets until the end of your life so please don't do that just don't okay now let me see guys what else i can see major kind of the magician be very very focused and you will be very very focused on your partner maybe this video will help you to stay focused only on your love partner okay ace of wands will give you strength and courage simply to trust and not only to trust but basically to have strength and to find time and basically to open like never ever before guys you will be open in the month of july and you know this person will feel sparkle between you and him or her of course depends on your gender now let me repeat month of july is like uh, the best of quality month uh, to stay committed, uh, to be opened, uh, to make preparation for your future life, uh, to gather your family and his family or her family, depends of your gender, and to start talking and you know about preparation for your future, for your future life. So all in all, my dear Sagittarians, you will remember the month of July until the end of your life just be um who you are uh, don't be frightened because month of july i think is the biggest and the most profound month for you and this is it guys stay open stay open and you know talk about love in this time uh, as much as you can with your partner because your partner whoever your partner is or will be your partner obviously obviously uh, needs to hear words of love coming from you okay so this is your monthly reading thank you for stopping by book a private reading if you want make sure to subscribe on my channel like and share